Merry Christmas, Santa Claus has come. Let's open up our present and check it out. Stick around. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and I've got a couple big boxes. I don't think you can see the other one over here. This is the heavy one. And down here, it says Whipple. I think that's synonymous with Santa Claus. I think this is a gift from Santa Claus. I didn't buy it for myself a few months ago. For anybody that might be wondering that, Santa Claus is real. He just happened to swing by it earlier because this was taking up so much space on his sled. So, what do we have here? What is this? Oh, this is a New Year's present. Seriously though, let's get that out of here. That's for next year. Let's open this big beast up and take a look at what we got. Now this is the three liter Whipple Supercharger for the current generation of Silverado, basically the current 5.8 or 5.36.2 setup on here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this unit on a 5.3 is supposed to put down like 450 to the wheels with the base pulley. This thing is. Oh, totally foamed up. How oh, they use this? I guess we're just tearing the box open. Oh. Holy crap. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Get this out of the way. Boop. So, as you might be able to tell, the 442 is gone, finally. And we're slowly but surely reclaiming the garage. What you don't know is behind the camera is a truckload worth of trash. And behind me is all the stuff I need to sort out still. Let me adjust the camera down. Let's take a closer look. Okay, can you see me behind this giant boy? This is huge. The rotor pack on this, I can see why some people might want to go with a Maggie because it sits a lot lower, but this one uh, supposedly is more efficient. I don't know. I accidentally punched a hole in my remove before installing sticker but this is quite the unit let's see if we can tip it back got some duct tape over the ports obviously this replaces your intake manifold i'm probably going to have to use the cherry picker to get this thing in there <laughs> oh. um it looks like, I don't know. I don't know, well, no. They've got holes for bolting down to your heads, but it also has bungs in it. So, this might be something where we need to investigate doing a direct water methanol injection kit on this thing. Uh, on the back, we've got our coolant lines. I'm guessing one's in, one's out. We've got a sight glass for your oil level. This has no oil in it. So then we've got a map sensor. My guess is since this is a global B platform, this is a T map. It does have four pins, so it's going to be boost all that jazz. And then hand turn it. We've got our crank snout, our vacuum regulator, which is interesting because you have to run your own vacuum hose for your bypass. 
and the bypass is adjustable which is another interesting thing i'm sure it's factory set but maybe it gives you some adjustability if you need to go oh, holy that thing's heavy let's see what comes in the other box the uh heat exchanger so this uses a air to water style intercooler heat exchanger intercooler is built into the blower so let's just pull all this stuff out because i'll be honest with you it's about time to start installing this stuff on the truck anyways throw that there so we've got some hoses uh 2019 di truck suv general hose bag bypass pvc or pcv pcv vent evap purge solenoid filler reservoir vent hose and instructions so is this literally oh got an air filter instructions a whole bunch of decals and some actual uh badges that's kind of cool whipple supercharged i know most people aren't into something like that and a license plate frame but i'll probably stick with my hp tuner slash snow performance license plate frame uh decent looking filter i'm seeing if there's a brand on it doesn't look like it Whipple may be manufacturing them in-house, though. Probably not. They're probably outsourcing that, would be my guess. So, here is our, well, what would you call it? I guess heat exchanger. Yep. It's a big boy. Ought to be pretty efficient. Nice size heat exchanger. This will probably be the hardest part of the install. Probably gonna have to take the grill off to get this in. Uh, it's been a while since I've taken the Silverado grill off, but generally that means that the front bumper has to come off. Um, if we're lucky, maybe it'll just be taking the top radiator shroud off and dropping it in. We'll have to see. Just set this out of the way for now. Maybe in a place that's not so precarious. So let's start with the next box, which is small. This one is supercharger pulley. It comes with a 4.625 inch supercharger pulley, uh, air tube, and an air kit parts bag, whatever in the world that means. Let's open it up and see. Oh, okay, so there is a throttle body adapter. That's what the air kit parts bag is. Uh, then just a tube. It's got a outlet there for probably a barb and then the pulley. Sweet, put that there. It is a bolt on. So throttle bolt. Throttle body bolt, that's for that. I don't, I'm wondering, because I'm seeing some smaller ones. How many bolts is there? Five. One, two, three, four. I don't know, no. No, okay, so that's just for the throttle body. In one of these other boxes, there's probably the bolts for the pulley. Oh goodness, this box is kinda heavy. Common parts box, idler plate, grooved idler, smooth idler, tensioner, truck reservoir, reservoir cap, intercooler pump, intercooler pump clamp, uh, DI engine parts bag, DI belt system bag, spark plugs. Does it really come with spark plugs? It's cool if it does. What does it say they are? Denzo, uh, ITV 22s NGK LTR 7s. So it makes sense. Four ounces of oil, truck wire bag, tensioner plate bag, 
LTR hardware bag, push in bumper, DI truck reservoir bracket, and a six or belt that's 94.7 inches. So, oh, okay, interesting. What in the world is this? Intercooler wire extension, harness map extension, throttle extension. Okay, so it comes with that. It's got a relay, I'm guessing for the intercooler pump. We'll dive into that whenever we do the installation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna video the installation in case you guys are ever interested in doing something like this. Give you, it won't be the same obviously, unless you're doing this on a 19 through 23 Silverado, but it should give you some insight to what it'll be like. This is just hardware. Various hardware, there's your intercooler reservoir, min-max line, kind of a little inline jobby, belt, oil, and idler pulleys as I said. So let's just set this over here, get that out of the way, and last but not least, hose bag, brackets, Okay, so we'll just have to dive into what all the bracketry does. Um, I don't want to make any assumptions. I assume that this would be a pretty quick install, but as I start digging through all these parts, it looks like it might take a couple days, two days probably of working on it and trying to knock it out. So, honestly though, you got two people, a pro charger kit can be done in a day. Uh, so, I'm wondering, one person, probably two days, probably one day with one person, if you got somebody attacking different things um, at the same time. So, let's get this box out of the way. Ah! Okay, well that's exciting. Um, now I'm just waiting on Global B support to open up to the public. HP Tuners is uh, going to try to open it up here in the next month or so. That way, if you have a Global B platform, you don't have to go through a dealer to unlock your ECU. You can unlock it yourself and get to tuning. Um, being that the truck is my daily driver though, I'm going to have to plan this out well uh, because it's winter time, so it's not like I can take the Viper to work. Uh, so we'll see. Be kind of sketchy until we figure out like, oh, hey, now's a good time to attack this. Um, but who knows, maybe next weekend I'll just get a wild hair and dive into it. Well, you know, I still got a lot of cleaning to do. Uh, I still got to haul the uh, cutlass off to the junkyard or to the scrap yard. Of course, I got everything loaded up and they're all closed for the holidays, even on Friday before Christmas, which I kind of get, but at the same time, like, really? Uh, but that's, that's basically it. I'm going to get back to cleaning now that I've made an even bigger mess in the garage. Um, I think this is the part where I say, you guys know the deal. Thanks for stopping by the garage, and remember ABT, always be tuning.